Oh, I thought we, um, you know, we competed really well in that first half. We had a lot of things, uh, you know, go against us early. Uh, you know, they had a lot of ball and a lot of good field position. I thought we fought our way back into the game really well. So I was really pleased with that. Um, the second half, we started really slowly. Um, they got the upper hand and we were just chasing from then on. We really struggled in that second half. Given the week you had, was that always on the cards? Oh, well, yeah, we could use that as an excuse, but I don't, I don't really want to. We've got to find some answers, and uh, I don't want to use that as an excuse. The fact that 90-odd points I think have been scored in two weeks, that'll be the biggest... Yeah, it is, yeah. Those. Yep, definitely. Yep, we've got to find some answers for that. Was it a case of running out of gas? That last twenty. Um, yeah, we, we we certainly looked tired, you know. But you know, you know, when the opposition have got all the running and the field position and the, and the ball, you know, that tends to happen. Where does it start? I defensively, where is there problems in like, Is there line speed? Is there issues? Oh, we've, yeah, we've we've obviously lost some confidence. You know, as a group in each other, and uh, you know, we need to we need to get that back. And the only way to do that's through a bit of hard work and training. And well, then how, how much difficult does that make this being origin period and, and not having the guys there to train? Yeah, no, it does. It does. But you know, we got no control over that. So, you know, the guys that are left, we'll um, we'll work on them and do the best we can. And you know, hopefully, when the guys get back, you know, we'll slot them in. But you know, we can't do anything about that. That's that's the way it's going to be for a, for a few more weeks to come. You don't use it as an excuse, Ivan, but you know, you've got a, a good beating in Melbourne last week and then you don't get the opportunity to, to work on any of those deficiencies. You know, it must make it very hard to fix them then going into a, a game this week. Oh, yeah, it is, but <laughs> what, what can we do about that? You know, that, things were totally out of our control this week. So So do you just wipe this week from your, your memory? And oh, no, we're not, no, we're, no, we're, no, we're not going to wipe it. There's, there's certainly things that we can look at and that we need to keep working on and, and we'll do that. We've got to stay positive, you know, there's no point, it's halfway through the year and it's a tough part of the year for us and, you know, we've got to, you know, we've got to be mentally strong and positive and, and just keep plugging away at it. That's the only way I know to get things back on track. Well, you was that because his preparation was no worse or better than the other one? <laughs> Yeah, look, Joel, Joel had been stood down. I didn't know where that was, when that was going to finish and, um, um, you know what? What I wanted after the Melbourne game was to to train with a with a full team for the whole week, um, and I didn't know when he was when when his um, uh, you know situation was going to get resolved. So we went with the decision to leave him out, and I just didn't know how his head was going to be after it either. Um, but with the week that we had, we didn't train anyway. He probably did more training than anyone this week, so he was probably in a better headspace than than anyone else to play. So. So we went, went with him today and I thought he did a good job. Oh, yeah.